Hello, this is Mr. Gummel with the 8.7 Trig Applications lesson. Well, we're at a point now where we have established our sine cosine tangent functions, and we've also looked at the inverse sine, inverse cosine, and inverse tangent functions. And instead of cramming these last bits of application into the worksheets, decided to let's just separate these into some uh, to another worksheet and just look at some other areas where we can apply this trig, these trig functions, uh, into our right triangle system. So let's begin by talking about our special right triangles, 45, 45, 90, and the 30, 60, 90. We can apply our sine, cosine, and tangent to these special triangles. And when we do this, we find that uh, no matter what size our triangle will be, the side ratios will always be the same because the sine of 45 degrees of one special right triangle will be the same as the sine of 45 degrees in another. Now, what you've seen to kind of help us along in this is I have restricted the the hypotenuse of our given triangle to be a length of one. And by doing this, this will give us our uh, straight up ratio for each of the missing legs of our right triangle. And we'll, so we'll do that first. We'll fill in the missing sections or missing legs of our right triangle, and then we'll find out what the sine cosine and tangent of our special angle 45 degrees is. And we'll see that there's something really special that happens uh, within these special right triangles. So we'll start with 45, 45, 90, and then move into 60, 30, 60, 90. Another reason why I've restricted the hypotenuse of our right triangle to one uh, is because if we have time, there is going to be another lesson at the end of our chapter uh, where we do some investigations that involve our special right triangles. So let me first begin by filling in our missing side measures. Now remember, Back in our 8.4 lesson with the special right triangles, we proved that these three sides have a, a special ratio to them, that they are related in some way. And using the hypotenuse given us to us as one, I can work backward and define the missing leg values. And one thing we also proved was the legs inside of a special right triangle, 45, 45, 90, are equal measures. So when I find one, I find the other. So let me go ahead and just save us some time and fill these in for us. What's going to happen is when I work backward from the hypotenuse to get your missing leg here, I get root two over two is my fraction. Okay, the square root of 2 over 2 is the fraction that we get if we then work backward from the hypotenuse to the missing leg. And then we can fill in this other uh, fraction down here. This also would be root 2 over 2. So now let's find our sine, cosine, and tangent of these angles. So sine, let's use our SOHCAHTOA. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. This is why it's really nice to let the hypotenuse be 1, because the opposite over the hypotenuse is simply just then the opposite. The opposite over 1 right, just turns into whatever the opposite side is. And in this case, it's just simply the square root of two. So sine of 45 degrees, really simple. We just get a simple ratio of root two over two. Cosine of 45 degrees now, adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, our hypotenuse again is one. So if it's the adjacent over hypotenuse and the hypotenuse is one, divide anything by one is just itself. So cosine 45 is simply then just the adjacent side, which we know the adjacent side to our 45 degree angle is root two over two because both legs are equal. Now for tangent of 45, here's where things get fun. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Well, think about this. The opposite over adjacent, both sides are the same. They're equal, which means we really get the root 2 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2. When we do that, we're taking the same number divided by itself. So what does it simplify down to? It just simply, simply simplifies down to 1. So the tangent of 45 degrees is just the ratio of one. So a nice, clean, whole number we get when we take the tangent of our special angle 45 degrees. Now you'll see the use of this triangle, our special right triangle, on the worksheet tonight. So make sure you have these ratios on hand. Now let's move over to our 30, 60, 90 right triangle. What we're again going to do is we're going to fill in our missing side ratios. I've, I've restricted the hypotenuse again to be a length of one. And because of that, it's going to help us with our sine and cosine value because when we do the sine and cosine, uh, we'll find that uh, the ratio we get with that is just dividing by the hypotenuse. Now, in this case, we are dealing with two different angle measures, the sine of 30 and the cosine of 30, or the sine of 30 and the sine of 60. Uh, so with the two different angle measures, 30 and 60, you'll see that on the worksheet, you will work with the 30 degree angle Angle. However, here, I'm just going to work specifically with the 60 degree angle below as our example, and then you'll work with the 30 degree angle uh, on your own on the worksheet. Now, I'm going to help you fill in the missing side measures of our triangle, because again, if we're given just one side of a special right triangle, we can find the other missing two using the what we proved about the ratios of the given sides of the special triangle. So I'm going to work backward from the hypotenuse of one and fill in the two missing ratios of our legs. 
So I'm going to first work back to find my short leg, which is the one opposite of my 30 degree angle. So angle, or sorry, uh, hypotenuse of one working backwards with my short leg, I get a ratio of one half. That's the side length then of my short leg, one half. Then working from my short leg to then my long leg, I multiply by root three. So I get the ratio of root three to two. So, or the side measure of root three over two. So those are the sides you're going to fill in also on your worksheet, and you're going to use those to help you find the sine cosine tangent of the ang of the acute angle measures inside the special right triangle. I'm going to work through the 60 degree angle again, as I said before, and you're going to do the 30 degree angle as well on the worksheet on your own. So let me help you by filling in what is the sine of 60. Well, sine again, Sokotoa says opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite is root three over two. Okay. Uh, over one, right? Because my hypotenuse is one, which is really helpful because anything divided by one is just itself. So the sine of 60 degrees is simply just, again, the opposite side or root three over two. Cosine of 60 is the adjacent side. So the side adjacent to that angle in this case would be one half. And that's the adjacent over hypotenuse. Again, making our hypotenuse one, a uh, nice uh, move there on our part because then just taking a half divided by one is just simply a half. So the cosine of 60 is the ratio of a half. Okay, then the tangent of 60, this, this is where things get interesting, because in tangent of 60, we have to do the opposite over the adjacent. So in this case, we're taking then root 3 over 2, our opposite side, and dividing it by our adjacent side, 1 half, which means we're dividing fractions. And dividing fractions is very simple, right? We, we uh, flip and multiply by the reciprocal. In other words, when we do this, this all turns out to be actually a nice, simple root root 3 so when we simplify that expression. So the tangent of 60 is just simply root 3. So with these special right triangles, we can work with those side ratios and, uh, and apply our sine cosine tangent functions to them as well, finding missing uh, ratios with our special right triangles. And you'll see more application of using our 45, 45, and 30, 60 on the worksheet as well. The last example we want to do today then is called all given one. What this means is you can actually find all of the trig ratios of, of a right triangle if you're given one of the trig ratios. So in the at start of our problem, we see that triangle ABC is right with its right angle at C. Find the ratios below if sine of angle A is two fifths. So we're given one trig ratio. With that one trig ratio, we can actually find all the trig ratios with just the one. Let me explain what we're going to do with this one. We're going to start by building a right triangle with right angle at C. So we're going to build triangle ABC. We already know some information about this triangle ABC. We know it's right angles at C, and we know from angle A, we have a ratio. Take a look at that. We have a ratio of two fifths. In other words, think about what that ratio is. The numerator of that ratio is the opposite side of angle A. The denominator of that ratio is the hypotenuse. Now, why do I know that? Because I'm dealing with the sine function. Think about what our Sokotoa says. Sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the opposite side of angle A is simply then just 2. The hypotenuse of our right triangle then is 5. Now, we can then use this information to finish off our right triangle sides. And here's how. With the Pythagorean theorem, if we're given two sides of a right triangle, we can find the missing third. So we have our A value. We're looking for our missing B value. And we have our C value. So let's apply the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Our A value is 2. We're looking for our B value our C value is 5. Then I can evaluate, subtract 4 on both sides, take the square root, and we have our missing side length for side B. So side B is now this root 21, which I am going to just leave it as a radical. I'm not going to turn that into a decimal. It'll get really nasty. So we're going to leave it as a radical root 21. Now what we can do is apply sine our cosine tangent of our other missing ratios. So notice that it was given sine of angle A. Now I can find the cosine of angle A because what's the adjacent side to angle A now? That would be root 21 and cosine ka is adjacent over hypotenuse. So my ratio of cosine of A is root 21 over my hypotenuse 5. 
Let's do tangent of angle A. Tangent of angle A is opposite over adjacent, so opposite of angle A is 2. The adjacent side is root 21. Now, I'm not going to leave it like that. I am going to rationalize that. So to save some time, I end up with this. There's my uh, finished off uh, fully rationalized form, simple, a simplified radical form. Sine of B now, as I move to my other angle, now from sine of B, I do the opposite of B over the hypotenuse. So the opposite of B in this case is 21 over 5. The cosine of B, if we take a look, cosine is the adjacent, which means that is 2 over 5. And then the tangent of angle B is the opposite over the adjacent, and we get a nice clean ratio, root 21 over 2. So given one ratio of a right triangle, we can find the other 5. So again, the title, all given 1. Now on the worksheet, I'll give you another example that you can walk through with uh, the given 1 ratio, find all of them. And then you're going to do the same thing on the worksheet. I'm going to give you one of the trig ratios of a right triangle using Pythagorean theorem. You can find the missing third side and then fill in what the other missing trig ratios are. So we're at the end of our 8.7, the trig applications lesson. Uh, be sure to hop over and take a look at that 8.7 worksheet. If you do have any questions on that worksheet, please don't hesitate to email me and I'll get back with you. With that, be good and do good.